What is going on, everybody? I know it has been a minute. Life has been a little bit chaotic lately, but there are plenty more reviews coming your way. We are snapping out of this hiatus. And also, I apologize if my voice doesn't sound tip-top getting over a cold. So if you hear some um, coughs filled with mucus, I apologize in advance, but that is just the course of life. And I don't care. But anyway, let's talk about some Christmas movies. Let's talk about... Wonka, the new prequel that stars Timothy Chalamet as the iconic candy maker who has been previously portrayed by Gene Wilder and Johnny Depp, I guess, if you want to choose to remember that, because I choose not to. Now, like I said, this is a prequel. This follows the early days of Willy Wonka. This is where he is struggling to make ends meet. This is where he's struggling to sell his candy. You know, he's creative, he's innovative, he's charming, but he's struggling to get his business off the ground. And he's also struggling to find out the person that he truly is and wants to become. Now, I honestly didn't know what to make of this movie. I'm not a huge fan of prequels in general, and I also just didn't feel like we needed a prequel to Charlie and the Chocolate Factory because one of the best characteristics of Willy Wonka, especially in the Gene Wilder portrayal, is this the mystique of the man. We don't know much about him. We don't know where he comes from, why he is the way he is, why he's become this mysterious, secluded figure. And that was fascinating. So to kind of take away that mystique was a little bit... Uh, scary to me. And like I said, sporting the top hat, sporting the cane this time around is Timothy Chalamet, Hollywood's go-to young superstar. And I was a little bit trepidatious with him taking on this role as well because I felt like, yes, I think he's a great actor, but I've never really seen him take on a role as whimsical and charming as this one before. He's a great dramatic actor, but I hadn't really seen his upbeat, lighthearted chops just yet. And this movie comes to us from director Paul King, who brought us the Paddington movies, which, look, you can get your pitchforks out. <laughs> you can start hating me immediately when I say this next statement. I understand. This is going to be a big one. I kind of just think the Paddington movies are, like... Like, okay? Look, I know a lot of people love the Paddington movies, especially the sequel. I just don't think they're anything spectacular, but that's just me. So again, that was just another reason why I wasn't really overly looking forward to this film. But as many things as were working against this movie in my mind, I was pleasantly surprised to enjoy myself as much as I did in Wonka. And let's talk about why that is. This is a prequel that actually is able to stand on its own two feet while also honoring that classic film that came before it. And what I really love about Timothy Chalamet's portrayal here is that, I mean, one, it's just great to see Timothy Chalamet smile. I mean, he's been in so many intense, dramatic roles. To, so to see him play such a lighthearted, goofy, whimsical character is just a really nice change of pace. And it doesn't feel out of the ordinary for him. It feels a very, like, effortless fit for him as an actor. And I want to see him play more characters like this. I think you could tell he was clearly enjoying playing a character as lighthearted as this one. He's warm, he's tender, he's charming, he's very inviting, he's magnetic. And I think that he pays homage to Wilder in very subtle ways. It's it, He really walks that fine line between doing his own thing and crossing over into that realm of just pure imitation. He walks that line beautifully where he's able to make this role his own while also honoring Wilder's portrayal and why people love this character so much. So I thought that was great. And the supporting cast here is really solid too. Of course, we've got Hugh Grant as the Oompa Loompa here, which I know has been the subject of, you know, a good amount of controversy. But honestly, I think he works in the context of the movie. He's not there a ton, but when he is there, he's really funny. I actually think the visuals aren't half bad. And Grant, you know, his dry sardonic humor, I think really works well for this particular trail of an Oompa Loompa, especially, you know, in the early days where he's meeting Willy Wonka for the first time. I, I actually really love their scenes together. And I think him and Chalamet had some terrific chemistry. And also, you know, we've got some supporting performances from like Olivia Coleman and Keegan-Michael Key, really charming stuff, really fun stuff. Uh, and the villains of the movie, this chocolate cartel, which every time I say that, <laughs> those two words just makes me laugh. Just really fun stuff. But the reason I think this movie works so well is because of director Paul King. And like I said, I wasn't a huge fan of the Paddington films, but I think that his visual aesthetic and his family-friendly vibe works so well for Wonka. Not only is this a really visually stunning film, I think the production values are really solid, the visual effects are used well and implemented well, they're not overly done, they're not distracting. The musical numbers are actually really well shot and orchestrated and choreographed, and the music in and of itself is actually pretty damn catchy. And I have to say, like, I was definitely singing along to some of those songs. They're, they're definitely earworms. But I think he really nails 
the the charm of this Wonka universe. He knows not to make it overly serious. He knows not to make it overly goofy. I think he strikes the perfect balance and he maintains that throughout the course of the film. It never feels like it's veering, you know, far too much into one territory than the other. He knows how to strike the perfect balance of tone in this film and he's able to do that throughout and make it a really easygoing, breezy experience. But I think the reason this movie works so well for me is that it really does have a great heart to it. It wears, you know, its heart earnestly on its shoulders, proudly. And there are several scenes in the movie that did make me tear up, and I really loved how they did flesh out Wonka's character. They didn't ruin the mystique of Wonka. There is still some mystery left with the character, but we do learn enough about him that makes us like him a little bit more. Because when we meet him in that original film, he's kind of a jaded, kind of cynical man who has to like learn how to be that happy-go-lucky, loving, tender man again throughout that course of the film. So to see him as this young, optimistic, bubbly, loving individual, it's, you know, it's jarring at first. But learning about his past, you know, it, it really helps inform the character as we see him in this movie with Chalamet's portrayal, and I really enjoyed that. Learning about his relationship with his mother, who's played wonderfully by Sally Hawkins, it's such a warm, beautiful relationship, and seeing how that, you know, has created the man who he is now, even despite all the adversity he's facing and why he still remains optimistic and why he still trusts people and inherently wants to connect with people. I thought that was beautiful stuff. This could have easily been a very pretty, but very hollow experience, but I think King, Chalamet, and company really make this a fun, inviting, charming holiday treat. When we've got all these heavy-hitting dramas hitting theaters now vying for Oscar attention, it's just fun to see a fun musical that just wants to charm your socks off, entertain you, and just give you a good time. I love that. Now, is this movie perfect? No. I mean, I know it's a musical, but I actually think there are too many musical numbers in this movie, where sometimes I feel like there's some good dramatic beats happening, or a good storytelling momentum happening, and then we get a musical number that just isn't it just doesn't feel necessary, and it feels like it's more of a distraction than this asset that the movie has going for it in terms of its storytelling. And I just, it takes you out of the experience. It takes you out of the story because now we're just, you know, launched into another musical number that isn't that good. And also, the movie's relatively predictable. We can tell where the story's gonna go from a thousand miles away. There's some humor that doesn't quite work, and there are some supporting characters that I wish were a little bit f more fleshed out and didn't feel as two dimensional as they came across. But these are pretty minor complaints and an otherwise really fun, charming holiday movie that is a refreshing prequel, one of the better ones that I've seen in quite some time, so there's that. So in the end, I'm gonna give Wonka, I'm gonna give this movie three and a half out of five stars. I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought it was going to. I think Chalamet should take on more lighthearted roles. I think he's showing a lot more versatility here. He's not just a great, you know, dramatic actor, but I think he's got a lot of charm and charisma to spare that we're not seeing quite enough. And I think that's on full display here. So I think he was a perfect fit for this role. And I think that the, you know, in terms of his performance, the visual aesthetic, you know, the musical numbers and just the charm of this movie, I think this is gonna be a big hit with audiences. And this is a movie I can definitely see myself revisiting. And it's a movie that doesn't take away from that original film, I think it's actually going to enhance it because I do feel like Chalamet's portrayal and Wilder's portrayal, they do connect in some really organic ways where yes, they're very distinctly different, you know, portrayals, but I think one informs the other in a way that I think is really natural. And I think if you watch the movies back to back, you really see that. So I definitely suggest you do that. And I, I enjoyed it. I, I shockingly enjoyed Wonka, even despite its flaws. So that is my review of Wonka. Really hope you enjoyed it. Really hope you take it into consideration if you consider seeing this movie or not. And if you have seen it, let me know in the comment section below what you thought of it. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you feel middle of the road on it? Let me know in the comment section below. I always want to know your thoughts. And if you want to follow me on social media, I'll put my handles at the bottom of the screen and they'll be in the description of this video as per usual. And if you want to follow my film podcast, Film on Tap, you know, the, every other week I get together with my movie buddies. We talk about movie news, trailers, we review movies, we go on weird, wild, hilarious tangents. It's a blast. Links to that in the description as well. And until next time, everybody, I'm Tom Chattelbash, YouTube's most reliable movie critic.